want to do, though, is take the lesson that they presented and, ap and apply it to what the scriptures say this morning. Think about the story that was read in the gospel, the parable of the Good Samaritan. In this story, the problem was the fear of those who would not help the Samaritan. They had reason to be afraid. The road they were traveling was very dangerous. There were always robbers and bandits on that road. So it wasn't that what happened to the, to the man who had been beat up was unusual. Think about a very dangerous part of Orlando. If you're driving in your car and you know that it is dangerous and you saw somebody lying on the sidewalk, would you stop? That's what this parable is talking about. In other words, the problem the parable presents is the problem of fear. So how do you deal with the problem of fear in places where it is dangerous? We all know that the message of the parable is to stop and help the man who was robbed and beaten up. But, it is, but we have to know that God loves us, that he gives us his strength, and that what I'm supposed to do as a Christian is to help people in need. And that's not just somebody else's job. That's my job. If I know those things, then even if I'm afraid, I, I might still stop. But if I do not know that God loves me and cares for me, and if I do not understand that Christians are supposed to help people, I will always be afraid and I will not stop. So the problem in this story, the, bo the box that was on the floor, is the fear inside. That's what this parable is challenging us to face. The que because the questions are, am I willing to trust God Go ahead. When life is difficult, am I willing to trust God when life gets dangerous? We need it right now in the United States, the witness of Christians who are willing to say, I will trust God and be courageous. We, we now, because of all of the shootings especially, including here in Orlando, are often people who are very afraid. And that fear can help, can try to keep us from reaching out to people in need, especially if they are people that we do not know. I can only reach out to people I do not know if I know that God is with me. 
es solamente posible ayudar al prójimo que no conocemos si sabemos que Dios está con nosotros. And that his power is strong. Y que su poder, y que su poder es fuerte. And his love is stronger than my fear. Y su amor es más fuerte que mi temor. If I do not believe those things, I will not help people. Unless it is convenient or easy or safe. Unless it's convenient, este, y fácil, y, este, al beneficio mío. So this gospel reading, at least in me, causes me to say, Oh God, please help me with my fears. Y esta escritura de la, del Evangelio me causa a mí preguntarme a yo mismo, Dios, ayúdame con mi temor. Help me to be courageous even when I am afraid. Ayúdame a tener este coraje, fortaleza, aunque tengo miedo. Gracias. So, I, so when I think of this story, it actually drives me to pray. Cuando pienso esta historia, me motiva a orar. Because we live in a community where we have people in need. And it is far too easy to keep going and act like, like we do not see. I need Jesus to help me see people as he does. Because he loves the people in need just as much as he does me. And if I were the one who had been beaten on the side of the road, I would want someone to stop, right? The scripture says, do to others what you would have them do to you. So, and today, Luis, where's Luis? Luis. Luis is going to be confirmed. Luis va a la you will notice that when I pray for him, Vas a darte oro por él. I will do three things. Voy a hacer tres cosas. I will place my hands on his head. Voy a poner mis manos con su That's a prayer for God's protection. Es una para la de Dios hacia la the second thing I will do is I will put a little oil on my thumb and I'll make the sign of the cross on his forehead. The cross says he belongs to Jesus Christ. And the oil symbolizes the presence of the Holy Spirit. And then the third thing I do, slight slap on the cheek. Now that is an ancient part of the confirmation service. But the reason for it is if you are going to serve as a Christian, life can sometimes be difficult. To be a Christian calls for courage. To, to be a Christian calls for being generous. Even when it is inconvenient. So if you have been confirmed. You have made a commitment to Jesus Christ. You count on his protection. You know the presence of the Holy Spirit in your heart. And you're willing to give even if it is difficult. That is the message of the parable of the Good Samaritan. So this week, people you know, they are afraid. They are afraid of violence. Some of them support the police and some are afraid of the police. Can you stand with them even when they are afraid? 
Can you give to them when they are in need? We need good Samaritans in this community. And Jesus has given us the strength to be able to give and serve courageously. So, so I would ask that we would pray together that God would help remove the fear in our hearts and continue to give us the courage to serve. Let us pray together. Oremos.